I'm Dr. Julie Steinara, and we're continuing to talk about binasal occlusion, which I utilize in the office for individuals who have a condition called strabismus, and more specifically, an eye turn in called esotropia. So I want to show you the binasal glasses that I made not too long ago in the office. Alright, so what they are is um, a covering that covers kind of like the inside of the lens towards the nose, which is why we call it binasal, two eyes or two nose in. And um, this is an activity that we would have patients to do with their binasal glasses on. And one thing that's important is this measurement is really crucial when we make the binasals, and that's something that a doctor needs to be able to do. So please don't try this at home. Um, and so what we're going to do is we would have the patient wear their glasses, depending upon where their eye turn is, and I won't get into that because it's a little complicated, but what we would have them do is wear the glasses, spin around in the chair, come back around, and they would probably have some sort of a target, target excuse me, to fixate whenever they turn back around. So maybe like a ball hanging down or a chart on the wall, and as they spin back around they would need to tell us a letter or something that they see. And they would spin a couple of times, depending again upon where their eye turn is, we would have them spin so that their eye, if it's turned in, has to kind of come out here and point the opposite direction to pick up and fixate the target as they're spinning around. And so this is a really cool, fun game for kids to play. Um, it's great for adults as well. And it's great to help the eye stop doing what we call cross fixation. So if the eye is turned in or crossed in, it will tend to fixate in the opposite field over here on the left side, instead of fixating in the correct field over here on the right side. And in order to stop that, binasal glasses will help because we'll allow the person to kind of move their eye out, catch a target as they're spinning around, and appropriately learn how to fixate in the correct field with that eye. So for more information about how we correct strabismus and esotropia, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com.